uncle of Syria's president Bashar al-Assad has been found guilty of money laundering. Rifat al-Assad was sentenced to four years behind bars. The trial taking place here in France, where he built a property empire. And following this story for us is Catherine Norris Trent. She joins me now. Catherine, tell us more about what the judges had to say. Yeah, the judges were damning in handing down this verdict uh, a very short time ago, Claire. Uh, the judge said that no other sentence apart from a prison sentence would be applicable here. Such were the gravity of these crimes, so high with the amounts of money uh, that they found uh, were laundered by Rifat al-Assad and such was the organized and structured nature of the money trails they'd been able to piece together from listening to wiretaps and speaking to witnesses going back decades. She said that Rifat al-Assad had been proven to have an authoritarian character and that he personally had directed this effort to siphon tens of millions of euros away from Syrian public coffers. Uh, she said that this uh, was a cut and clear case, basically, and ordered him to pay compensation to the two uh, charities, two organisations that were among the plaintiffs in this case, Transparency International excuse me, and uh, Sherpa. Also, uh, some of Rifat al-Assad's properties have been ordered to be seized immediately in Paris, where his property portfolio was estimated to be worth around 90 million euros. But also one property in London, the judge ordered to be seized, worth 29 million euros for one property alone. Catherine, Rifat al-Assad's lawyers are saying they're planning an appeal. Tell us more about him, this uncle of Bashar al-Assad's. Yeah, that's right. Rifat al-Assad did, had denied all these charges. He's aged 82 and wasn't present in the court today, as he wasn't present for the trial in December in Paris. He said at the time, his family said that he'd been hospitalised, that he was too unwell to attend. So big questions about whether he will actually serve any prison time at all. Now, he is the uncle of the current Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, uh, the uh, brother of Bashar al-Assad, father Hafez al-Assad. And he actually left Syria back in the mid-1980s after what apparently was a failed coup d'etat against Hafez al-Assad. And since then had been receiving these astronomical sums of money. Now, his defence had argued that he was receiving these perfectly legally as presents from the then Crown Prince and later the king of Jordan, uh, Saudi Arabia, excuse me, Abdullah, uh, they argued there was no money laundering uh, at all in question. Now, he was someone who had been nicknamed in the 1980s the Butcher of Hama. He was right at the top of the Syrian structure at the time and was said to have been behind the bloody crackdown on an uprising in the Syrian city of Hama in which many people were killed. So uh, while he was uh, at foes with the current Syrian regime, he was also denounced himself for repression act. In fact, there is an ongoing investigation in Switzerland against him for war crimes. Thank you very much, Catherine. Catherine Norris-Trent reporting there.